Hey guys, welcome to Backyard Living. Guess what we're gonna do today? We're gonna get crazy again, but this time we're gonna get crazy on the road. Road trip, man. I'm not looking at the camera. Look, I'm not looking at the <laughs> camera, camera lens again. I gotta look at the camera lens. Okay guys, we're gonna take a road trip to Boston Mills, Ohio. We're gonna check out an abandoned town. And the circumstances behind this abandoned town is that back in 1974, the US government decided that they were gonna uh, use the power of eminent domain and just take over this town. They were gonna basically kick all the people, all the residents out of their homes and take this and build a national park, the Cuyahoga Valley National Park over in Boston Mills. So we're gonna go check that out. It, people say it's haunted. Uh, people say uh, all kinds of rumors. There's cold activity. There's a, there's a creature called the Wendigo. Uh, there's also uh, rumors of an underground government facility. Uh, so we're going to investigate this. We're also going to show you some of what the town looked like before the government took it over. As best as we can. Yeah, we're going to try to show you a couple of pictures here and there. But uh, other than that, we're going to take this little thing on the road. Also, too, the thing because of the circumstances behind this whole town and it possibly being haunted and everything, they call it Helltown. So uh, we're going to go visit Helltown and uh, kind of document our journey there and back. All right. We'll see you guys uh, on the way. Hey guys, we are heading to Boston Mills on our road trip, backyard living. I know, it's kind of weird, backyard living, now we're not in the backyard. Well, you know, sometimes you gotta get out of the backyard and you gotta enjoy life. And we're heading to Boston Mills where they have this abandoned town. And this abandoned town is has got a high creep factor to it. Um, so creepy that they actually call it Helltown. You know, that's its rumored name, you know, so uh, we're heading there. We're going to see, you know, do a little bit of research and maybe enjoy ourselves and have a hike and just see what we can find. All right, we're almost there. We'll see you when we get there. Hey guys, we are in Boston Mills. Here is the abandoned town basically turned into a tourist destination. Uh, look at all the people here. There's an old uh, hardware store. Forgot uh, to come on, a, on a, a day where there's no one here. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice day, so there's gonna be a lot of people here right now. Uh, here's an old store right here. Uh, here's the old uh, gas station. And uh, you can see all the people walking. Here's an old house. Now we're going to start heading closer to more of the abandoned area, the area that they really, where they closed the road off. And that's where we're going to head right now. And uh, so we will see you when we get down there to that road. Hey guys, we are in Boston Mills and we are pretty much in Helltown right now. As you can see behind us, there's the uh, this old uh, cabin in the back. And that's just the first part. That's a tiny little thing. Yeah, it's just a tiny little nothing. But you know, they say that that could be haunted back there, but you who knows. Know. So we're gonna be heading over to the, uh, to the, to the actual gate. road where they close. They don't want anyone down through there, yet people go there and hike all the time. <laughs> so we're heading there right now. Hey. Guys, uh, there's the road close sign over there, which we're gonna. Yeah, the sign's all bent up. And look, now they put these logs. There used to be a house right here. These are the telephone lines used to connect it. We're gonna head over these logs, which they don't want people crossing over. But this used to be the driveway right here to come up to the house and the house literally was yeah the house was right here and just so you know that I mean they kicked these people out of this house man and they they just wanted to turn this all into 
uh, the Cuyahoga Valley National Park. More acreage for that. I can't imagine how many people played among the trees here. Yeah, this is the backyard. Here is the actual uh, water connection. Right here, pipe for the for the plumbing for the house. And we're on this trail now. Now we're kind of sort of in the backyard. So these things are all over the place. And if, as you can see, they grow, they put drop seeds in these things, and they just grow these plants or trees or probably trees. And you can see there's trees growing out of a lot of them. Looks like they never got a full tree out of one though, except for one over there maybe. Right, but they also, there are also rumors that there is a government facility. And it's kind of around here, I think, too, wherever it is. Yeah, there's an underground facility beneath Helltown. And we're not, I mean, it could be underneath our feet right now. A lot of the rumors are it was in a fielded area. I mean, you guys have Under seen. Plastic rock. Yeah, yeah, the plastic rock, that was a. Travel Channel's documentary. Yeah, Travel Channel's documentary. That thing is complete fake. Not, yeah, it's not all of it. Yeah, it's not all fake. Not all so guys, check this out. They just built this. It's a water table. Last yeah. time when we were here, it used to flood on the road. Now this is why it doesn't. Yeah, now they built this uh, water table to sort of redirect the water through here. This was not here the last time we came. Oh yeah, and it's, it would be right there too. Right there is where it would flood up there. Right, wow. Well, interesting. Yeah, this is, I mean, they just don't quit on this area. They don't they don't quit working on it. Try to keep hiding everything. Yeah, they try they're trying to they're trying to make turn it into you know park area, make it look more like a park when this actually used to be homes and where people used to live here. Alright, check this out guys. Now I know these are probably deer tracks, but you know conspiracy people are gonna say, oh those are Wendigo tracks. These are Wendigo tracks right here. No, they're just probably just deer tracks, but hey, you never know. Look at all this right here, the way they... Interesting. And this is so beautiful out here. It's so, so beautiful. Whoa, what the freak heck, man? What are you doing? Hey, it's me, sorry. Freak the heck out of me, man. I didn't take, I didn't take care of business. The, Nature called. The freak the heck's wrong with you, man. Could have told me you were right there. What I'm are you, a Wendigo. What are I'm you gonna doing? attack you. Ah, look at my other ah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we gotta cross this little stream now, so we're gonna hopefully get soaking wet today. I don't wanna get soaking wet either, so we're gonna Good job. Oh gee ah. Oh, oh yeah. Look. Mud. Darn it. I know, it'll it'll come off for Ah, oh, we're good, it wiped right off. All right, we're headed back towards the town, guys, or the road, this abandoned road, the main focus of Helltown here. And they just, they basically just cut all this down. They took all this brush down here. And you could tell by all the tracks that a lot of deer come through here. All right, guys, so we are traveling down this, the abandoned road here. All, there used to be houses up and down this. They took them all, okay? They took them all back in 1974 when they claimed eminent domain over this area because we want, they want to take people's property and turn it into, and, and basically get over to the National Park Service, which is just, I don't know, I just think that's kind of horrible. But uh, they used to say, oh, it was, there used to be a chemical spill. People had to get out. There's all kinds of rumors. There's, they, there's rumors that there's cult activity at night up in, in these areas. And uh, as you could, this is the other road. This is more traveling, uh, I would say, northern, north. And you can see the, down there that the road is all flooded out. 
And we got a guy down here. I think he just opened that gate and actually drove through it, believe yeah, it or not. He got lost. He lost. And it's closed. He but he opened game. that he opened that closed <laughs> gate, which I'm pretty sure the National Park Service is only allowed to do. Now we gotta find a way. If you notice there is a trail here along the road so we could travel up there. But look at the power lines. Yeah, this is one thing I kind of There's nothing here. There's nothing here. These power lines actually used to power the homes here. I know most of you are probably not electrical engineers, but the transformers are always where houses are. So transformers on the power lines. Well, we got another. Yeah, where the yeah where the houses used to be. Yeah, all the transformers. But there's another guy up here. I mean, I don't even know if we're supposed to be up in here, but we are. We just heard talking. I did. Or Matthew just heard talking coming from inside all this brush. Right here. We're not certain. Let me know if you hear it again. I'll let you know. I'm listening, guys. I don't hear anything right now. We'll continue to check things out here. But uh, I hope you're enjoying this. It's not the usual backyard living. But we wanted to go on a field trip and bring you guys something a little bit different. Uh, if you're ever around uh, Boston Mills, Ohio, come check out this strange place. It is creepy. We're going to check out an abandoned barn up in here. And uh, it's, it's, it's just amazing. This used to be a residential road, and then the Park Service took it over in 1974. All right, guys. So we're about to head into an area here where there's an old barn, a barn that's still, still there. We're going to head up in here right now and... Uh, examine it a bit and uh if you watch some of the old videos of boston mills and helltown you'll notice the uh, the owner of this barn uh if we have any pictures we'll show them here some old pictures but uh, we uh it's definitely uh creepy up in here it's very quiet there's not really any other hikers up in here which is kind of odd because usually there's this place teams with hikers but, uh, yeah, it's very strange. It's very ominous. Right in, there. You guys can see we're heading towards the barn right up in there. So, all right. All right. So we're heading down this hill to a abandoned property. Yet another one here. Did you hear that? I heard something over there. I don't know. Something in the trees over there. Probably just a squirrel. But yeah. I mean, such a beautiful place. Can you imagine the people that lived here before they got kicked out? I mean, they must have loved it up in here too. And then just, you know, get off the land. You know, we want to we want to build a national park. Yeah, check this out, people. Like they said repaired at one point. Yeah, watch your... Yeah, no, I'm not walking on the top. I'm walking on the bottom. I'm not walking on the top. All right, I'll, I'll be very careful. I'm not even walking in there. I'll walk in there. Seems pretty, pretty sturdy. Whoa. Look, we're going to be careful. We're going to be careful. There's a word on the ground. I know. That's awesome. Right there, guys. Hell. I mean, this place is just, oh my gosh. Out, Satanic there? symbol on the ground right there. Ooh. That is creepy. That's real thing. Yeah, it's creepy. Get out right over there. But yeah, look at that up in there. Look, they still, I mean, they still keep the roof. Yeah. Wow, guys. We, we heard like a howling. Guys, this is we never creepy. This is the creepy. first time we walked inside. Yeah, it's the first time we walked inside. It's, Creepy. Yeah, all right, we're going to go around the other side here. Yeah, we're heading down to this, to the bottom part of the barn here. We're just in the top part. And, uh... Does that look new right there? Look at that. Oh, the switch, yeah, that does look fairly new. Look at 1220. Oh, man, look at, look at right here. Ritualistic stuff. What the freaking heck? Dude, it's like a cross right there in the middle of it. People burning fires in here and junk. 
Dude, it is creepy in here. We're gonna go down there and check out that other. Fire right here. Where? Right there. Careful. Oh my gosh! Yeah, look at that. Someone tried to set this place on fire. Abandoned staircase. Oh, that that goes into a little building up there. Right, let's get out of here. This is like, yeah, this is like too terrifying up in here. I mean, we, yeah, it's it's not good being up in there. Why are they doing that? I don't know. I mean, you got these like evil looking horn things right there. There's always an eyeball. Yeah. Always Look at this freaky tree right here, man. I don't know. There's what's left of the wire. There's a wire right there. Ripping apart. I mean, they were hanging before, now they're not. So, look at all the trees, how they're all dead. You know, that's why they, this place is just some... It's, it's like outside of the world, man. They, they wanted to make this a national park. It is creepy. And here's where they used to keep the corn stored up in here. And look, the corn cob, cob remnants are still left in here. Yeah. That is freaky. I'm guessing they, put, they left the corn in here. Wow. Awesome. Yeah, very bizarre. This place could fall down in. I'm surprised this winds haven't taken this thing down. It is like creepy in here. Yeah. Helltown. Of course, people used to live here. No more backyard living in Helltown. No more backyard living in Helltown, buddy. Nuh-uh. Now it's just some touristy attraction. Poor people kicked out of their homes for National Park. I mean, I enjoy coming to this part, no jo joke, but still, I'd rather people still be living here. Instead of all this deadness, tr dead trees. I know they're trying to promote it. They're trying to get it to grow back. Hey guys, all right. We are done with our first exploration here in uh, here in Helltown. And, well, we've been here before, but this is the first one we're putting on uh, backyard living. And uh, let us know what you think of this place. I mean, do you, do you did you know about it here in Boston Mills? I'm sure some of you, especially in the uh, Northeast Ohio area, have been to Boston Mills ski resort, possibly the touristy area here by the Cuyahoga Valley Railroad, maybe a road on the railroad. But I bet you never knew that this area used to be a town where people lived until the United States government decided to kick everyone out and expand on the national park. Do you believe the rumors that we talked about? That there's Wendigo creatures, that there's that there's uh, underground government facilities. I don't know, man, but all right, well, be sure to like uh, this video. We appreciate it. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, hopefully we're going to get some new videos up. We got some ideas for backyard living back in the backyard. And uh, all right, you got anything else to say? All I got. All right, it's all we got. Over and out. We'll see you guys later.